Hi everyone, I'm Maggie of maggiesbliss.com and here's our Tuesday Tarot and Oracle mini reading. There's lots going on <laughs> in my visual today. We have a lot of beautiful quartz crystals, some Sedona, amazing magical hearts, heart energy. We have two Vogels, different type of kind of a Vogel here. Um, that ends and then extra anyway <laughs> more on that later just take a class with me um, this beautiful diamond ish energy there we have our pyramid so there's sacred geometry coming in and as you can see there's also um, sound healing coming in for the energy right now it's just uh, huge sound healing is alchemy for like it's magic it's like the wave of the future for healing and upliftment awakening opening up to you know your crown chakra to everything so let me just do a little bell trying to bring the bell to the speaker to hear that beautiful resonance. It cleanses, clears your uh, crystals, helps them get back to their zero point, their harmonious balance. Uh, and it does the same for you. We're crystalline structures, we're electrical beings, but and we're also made up of water and we need all of that extra help, right? So um, I did pull cards, as I mentioned. Whew, uh, the first card is from Oh, I love the back of these cards, right? It's from this deck. The first, uh, there's two cards in this and I had to place them in their right order. But angels, gods, and goddesses are coming in. Ooh, St. Germain <laughs> also coming in for you guys. But uh, so these two cards are from the angel uh, angels, gods, and goddesses with Tony Carmine and, and Sol Carmine Solano. I'm going to say that wrong. And then one, two, three, three. These three cards are from the Divine Feminine Oracle deck. Love the deck. I thought I was only going to pull one from that deck, and then I ended up uh, grabbing three. They just, they wanted to be here for the message. So um, first and foremost, I have to say, like, what's really coming in before I even pulled any cards, of course, is to just start to tune in to especially if you're watching this right tune into sound healing there's so many ways to go about it there's quartz singing bowls that i use for my full moon sound journey there's these beautiful tibetan bells and this is a bali bell that was gifted to me during my soul coaching training with denise lynn powerful beautiful bali bell i love bali uh synchronicity just got a text from a friend <laughs> about bali but um and then also there's tuning forks as well. These are powerful and beautiful to place on your body. So you would, you know, ding them. And play. if you want to touch your body, you can have this, the end of it, touch a per certain part of your body and your client's body. But here I have several uh, tuning forks to show you with regard to the Soveggio frequencies. I taught about this last year in my Mystic Soul 2020 course. Let me know if that interests you, if you want to find out more, at least just to get the little meme I created for all nine of the main Soveggio frequencies. But of course, there are many. So this one is, so let me just pull it in, 528. Great for restructuring your DNA. Can you hear it? This one's particularly um, quiet, but it's still powerful. Here's your next one is, oh, well, let's just show you. 174. And this is good for physical pain. I don't know if you can, let me know if you can hear it. <laughs> if you can't hear it, I think I'm bringing it up to the proper speaker here. So I just want to make sure you can hear it. So then this one, ooh, 963, you know the power of 369. It's not getting clear on my phone. You annoying up. Oh, well, it's sort of clear. Anyway, 963. So you may or may not be able to hear this, but I just, I have to play all of these for you. So now this one, there's only two more, 417. So all of these add up to three, six, or nine, if you didn't know. 417 hertz. And then the final one is 432. I love that it's purple. It's earth. It's said to be the frequency that earth resonates at. And we need to tune into that. If those, oh my God. 
That one's loud. Definitely needed. So this one, 432, if you guys were in one of my yoga classes uh, last year, year before, I brought this one in and I played, I was guided to yoga class. No, maybe it was a sound journey, but I was guided to bring it and also use it on everyone, place it on their heart center for everyone who came in the room. So it did take a little bit, but I was, I needed to touch everyone with this. So amazing magic with sound healing. So please look into that. It's going to be profound for your body, mind, and soul. Um, so our cards today, we start with this beautiful angel of clearing, uh, time. Okay. Let me bring it up. Um, your time of waiting and confusion will soon be over. So there's still some uh, purging that has to be done, some extracting of the old. There are patterns that are coming up and they're bringing it to your awareness. And it's time for you to say, okay, I, I do see it. I don't want to ignore it anymore. I really do want to move past this. It's time for me to shift. It's time for me to stop the madness, right? And I see it, so now I must transmute it. It's time. Like for me, um, I can give you one example. I was 225 pounds. I was overweight and I was sick of it, but I gave up and I just said, I surrender. I'm just going to be this chubby person forever. And I didn't mind. And then I started eating anything still that I wanted. And it, um, I was just getting more and more overweight and it was becoming just too much and obviously unhealthy. So although I didn't feel terribly bad, I did also feel bad. So <laughs> For me, my healthy weight is much less than what I was and my healthy weight. And not only that, overeating blocks your transmission to the universe because moderation in everything, moderation in what you eat so that you are able to tune in. Because once you start overeating, it's like, why am I overeating? What am I not being, What? It, where in my soul is not being fulfilled or what am I protecting myself from? What is this pattern coming from? So this is when you pull out your journal and your channel, you meditate, you get out in nature and say, okay, what's this all about? But then after I surrendered and said, I'm just going to be chubby forever, I just said, you know what? I'm done with that. So it's usually right, right before springtime that things shift for me as always. It could be because my birthday comes up in springtime. Who knows? Um, but uh, it's also like new beginnings, the springtime. So for me, I finally said, no, I'm done with those patterns. And it just, it was a ripple effect for all the major things that occurred with my life thereafter too. I got back on track with food in a healthy way. Moving my body was so important. That moved me into yoga, et cetera, et cetera. It was a ripple effect. So if that makes sense for you, it may be, it's a great example, but maybe it's something else that's coming up, a relationship pattern, a way you react to things, to people. Why am I reacting that way? What in my childhood or my other life? Is coming up for me to release and start your meditation, your journey from that. So then we move into these beautiful cards. They came up together. So here's why. The first one to talk to you about is Sekhmet. Awesome. And this is the red lady. She's coming in. I am pure strength. I honor my anger by giving voice to it. So stop the madness <laughs> with regard to anger that you're you're re repressing. Are you repressing anger or anything else by, like, as I mentioned, food or anything else and start that purging process? But it's about tuning into your throat chakra, finding your power and saying, no, 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 I am divine feminine energy and masculine. And here's where I'm going to be able to balance the both and express my voice, find my light and allow it to shine forth. And from there, these two came together because look at this beautiful first, just look at her. How amazing is that? And she's tuning into her third eye. Her crown again is lit up just like just like Sekhmet. And oh my God, can you say Lionsgate energy there? Woo! Okay. <laughs> so Lala, <laughs> if I'm pronouncing her right, I meant to look her up, but I forgot. So the saint of spoken words. Every word I say becomes a prayer. I am the author of my own story. So where you share and express your anger in a healthy way so that you're not overreacting and if you are find out why tune into yourself then remember that everything you say is an affirmation for what's 
you're going to experience in your life within and throughout as a mirror to you in your outer reality as well as your inner reality. So now no, start to use your words with intention so that you speak positively, upliftingly, high vibrationally, everything of the highest benevolent love and light. Yes. So we move over here to what's coming. Oh my gosh. So these came together as well. So I'll show you the first one. Angels. Oh my God. Just take a look at that beautiful, vibrant energy. The colors themselves have been showing up major in the reds and magentas and gold. Oh yeah. That for me is just a lot of divine feminine and masculine energy coming in. Angel of abundance is saying a steady flow of abundance is about to manifest. So we're going to take that flow because we've purged and done the work, listened to our patterns, you know, expressed ourselves as we were supposed to divinely and then tuned into the proper way to express our energies for what we would intend to be in our lives in the highest way we can, but also knowing that what you intend for yourself, you intend for others. And as you do this intention for yourself and for others, it manifests with more ease because we don't want to just be the only one that's abundant or prosperous. We want everyone to be because everyone deserves it. So it's coming, this angel saying, oh yeah, it's coming. And guess what? This gal's also saying, it's coming. You're tuning into your power, your empowerment, your divine feminine energy, because we need both men and women need both to balance. And this beautiful goddess, I don't know how to pronounce her name. I'm so sorry, Kadija, <laughs> the mother of believers. I love it. Sorry. So the mother of believers, believers. Okay. Yeah. I am spiritually and financially abundant. I provide heaven and earth for myself. So she's saying to intend, it's coming, to share the wealth, to, st to step into your power. As you al align yourself into your power, you align others into theirs. You allow them and give them permission to do the same. You intend for the highest and best good of all, always that everyone receives all of these positive affirmations and you share in that magic and it's just more powerful. So hopefully this made sense for you. Tune into your sound healing magic for healing on all levels, physically, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally. Grab any crystals that will help assist you in the magnification of that and know that abundance is your divine right abundance and freedom and flow. Have a, an amazing Tuesday. Blessings.